I appreciate what's been evolving today because my situation, I've, I've gotten some more clarity about it. And I think my question is clearer. Um, I've been talking with you. I've been bombarding you with this for a month. So I appreciate the opportunity for Esther to participate in this here. I have a desire that when I am in what it is, it's indescribable. It feels like the energy that I have and the joy that I have. I mean, I, I laugh and I mean, it's it, like if you plug me in, I could power the entire North American continent for the rest of the year. And it's absolutely amazing and indescribably delicious. And then a little bit of truth hits me that, well, gee, out of the entire universe, out of this entire power that creates world, this thing is the one thing you can't have. So on my rapids that are like stage 10 rapids and I'm just floating down and I'm having the most amazing time, I fly out of the boat and hit one of those boulders. Which is logical, isn't it? It because is logical. you've got yourself really moving and then when you focus upon something that doesn't let you move, the whiplash is severe. Horrible. Yes. Horribly painful. Esther has noticed that, that when she focuses on something in a negative way, she takes it really, really hard. A little bit of resistance goes a long way with a fast-moving stream. It does. A car that's going 100 miles an hour and hits a tree, much bigger problem than a car that's going 5 miles an hour and hits a tree. Mm -hmm. Everything that you want, you want it because you think you will feel better in having it. Mm -hmm. And everything that you want there is something within it that you want, that it is really the essence of it that you want. And there are many ways to get that other than through that one specific path. So when you focus and say, I can never have that, you're blocking something, and the reason it feels so bad is because Source is saying, well, you can have it this way, and you can have it this way, and you can have it this way, and you can have it this way. And the more you say, I can't have it, the more Source says you can have this and this and this. Every time you say, I can't have it, the Source energy part of you is saying you can have it. So the stream is moving faster and faster and faster. Maybe you should stop acknowledging the untruth that you can't have it and just go get it. Okay, it's the essence thing. On my desk, I have uh, one of your daily quotes that says, I'm going to align my vibration with you and so much so that I'm going to draw the essence of you. This is seriously, horribly paraphrasing. We thought it was perfect. Okay. In other words, I'm gonna draw you couldn't the... have said it if you didn't understand it, so you do understand it. Right. I'm going to draw the essence of you into my experience. Yes. And I absolutely love that. So I guess it's the essence that I'm having a problem with because I don't want the essence. I don't want a kind of like reasonable facsimile or a really pretty close. Well, that's not what essence is. Essence doesn't say a reasonable facsimile. Essence doesn't mean you almost made it but didn't. Essence means I want the full vibrational, visceral, expanded experience that this particular subject represents. The particular subject that you think is the detailed thing that you want right. is but a shadowy example of what you're really reaching for. The real thing is the essence. The example that you think you can't have is just one way of getting the essence. Oh, that was so good. That was so really, really good. <laughs> And then, in time, you bless the rascal that won't come because it amplified your desire for its essence, which brought you so much more than it could have ever been. <laughs> but as long as you're pointed upstream, you can't know that. You just got to keep trying to turn, trying to turn, trying to turn. And one day, not so far from now, you'll tell us the rest of the story. You'll say, there's this thing that I thought I couldn't have. And the more I thought I couldn't have it, the more I wanted it. And the more I wanted it, the worse I felt. And the worse I felt, the more I wanted it. Till I really got a powerful thing going on in vibrational escrow that became undeniable. And then one day, I decided to let go of the struggle and stop fussing about not being able to have the thing that I thought I couldn't have. And when I stopped fussing, Source took me right to it. And I said, there you are. You look different. 
than I thought you'd look. But now that I'm up close, I feel you are exactly it. And it won't be long before you'll hear it and feel it like they did. <laughs> so the way you worded that was specific. So you know what it is I'm talking about? Yes. <laughs> we know everything. And we've seen all the happy endings. We never stop calling you toward them. So we say, never let go of your dream because all things are possible. You told me that three years ago, that whatever I desired, I could have. It's still true. Good time for a segment of lunch. <laughs> we are complete.